Now, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom, but how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> This is Dean is our referee tonight. Good. Well, there can be two better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. Oh, that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing to beat. Oh, oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Pretty strong jab there by Pereira. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep bait, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances in this fight. Oh, oh he might get finished here. Oh, 
All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, John. I mean, one calf. Oh, Jesus. Somehow, his opponent stayed up I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Oh, beautiful straight right. Positional control here. Oh, interesting. How about these two going at it? Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands close to the head. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Beautiful transition. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's looking at the So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Big Daddy. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may, because <laughs> this guy, knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.